Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, GM Pokey here. In today's episode, we are going to see if the scale can find all the good cards in this. That's one of my biggest problems. I do sell loose packs uh, primarily on whatnot, and a little bit on our shop. If you want to visit uh, shop.gmpokey.com, and I guarantee that I'm not trying to rip you off because it would get back. It would be all over the comments of my things. They wouldn't be any good for me. But I do want to do this as a PSA to let you know that if someone has a scale and someone is selling Potentially, they could be taking all the good packs and sending you the light one. So let's find out. It's a little bit of information that I hope you know and helps you steer you in the right direction when you're buying packs on your own. All right, guys. So we've got all this stuff out here. I got it on my table. I got my scale, measures in grams, and I've got the pack. So I'm going to get into the packs. I'm just going to rearrange real quick. I got to get my water out of the way before I knock it down. And uh, if you haven't seen me yet, right? If you haven't been around long, remember the GM Pokey hoodie, man. If you, uh, if you haven't seen that yet, uh, feel free to pause it, check it out. Very cool. Let me know if you want to get some. Uh, we could do some up for you guys. Uh, super comfortable, and it looks cool. So when I look into this box, I'm hoping. Uh, that at some point, Pokemon's going to fix the problem of packs being weighable, right? So, uh, does it really matter if you buy sealed products? No, not really. If you keep buying ETBs or you buy, you know, tins or you buy booster pull boxes yourself, I don't really think it's going to make much of a difference if it's weighable. But there are people out there who are going to try to buy, you know, the sealed products. They're going to weigh all this stuff and then they're going to send you the stuff that, uh, you know, that didn't work out. Why is that so off? That's kind of, oh, usually the display pokes a little bit lower. Okay, I don't need this one here. So what I don't want is I don't want you to assume that, uh, you know, it's safe to buy loose packs from unknown sources, you know, hence eBay. I do sell on eBay, but uh, I don't think I have any. So I think I have some blisters on there. And the idea is that I want to make sure uh, you're not out there buying these packs and someone's sending you like, a, you know, 36 loose packs, not in a booster box, and you see it as a good deal. When realistically, um, so 2265, uh, you know, you're going to get ripped off because they already took all the cards you wanted. I'm going to get these weighed out. Then we're going to figure out what we determine is kind of a, uh, a heavy and a light group. If you want to fast forward through this, uh, I'll have it down in the chapters. I'll make it pretty easy for you to do so. But yeah, let's see what we can figure out and or even just enjoy the opening of the booster packs, right? So we have so far a, a pretty good range going. Uh, I know you can't see the scale down there, but I will um, I will get it uh, all marked up so you can see. And again, if you want to fast forward through, I totally accept the fact you might not want to weigh these out with me. Uh, okay, so I'm going to say this pack uh, range is going to be my, so we got eight, two, eight, four. So maybe this is going to be eight, four and above. And this will be eight to eight, three, maybe. How's that sound? Okay, these are seven eights, seven nines, seven six, and a really light one, a six six. So that's a really light one in comparison to the rest. Um, and then I guess, you know, how are you guys doing with your uh, with your Obsidian Flame so far? Ooh, 2292, 2292. I wonder what that one's going to have in there. 2278. Uh... Okay, so 22, I'm going to make some, some marks on some of these so you can remember what I'm doing here. Um, have you guys been pulling the Charizard EX? It looks like I looked at the, the hit ratio, and it looks like they're 1 in, like, 200, which is not like it's been. It was kind of crazy. It's like 1 in 500. So that's a little bit better ratio, right? Okay, here we go. I got a couple more 8.3s. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that through this video we don't find um, – any weight range, any weight range um, that has any more or less than something else. That is what I'm hoping. But uh, we will find out. Um, and I'm seeing uh, a good number of packs that are coming in in different ranges. And a lot of times, um, you know, these have been weighable. Uh, above 8.4, it is getting pretty slim, which makes me kind of feel like... Um, that's going to be a range where some of the hits are. If it, it, it doesn't get evened out here. Um, I have seen that the hit ratio for some people has been pretty good. Um, I think people were posting that they were hitting, you know, about 50%. Uh, double rares and other stuff. So we'll see. 
I did open an ETB and only get one EX card out of the whole ETB. And then I opened another one and I got about, you know, I think it was like four or five hits. You can go back, you can find those videos uh, on there anyways. But um, there is a lot of uh, heavy packs in here. We're, we're sitting, uh, in my opinion, what might be heavy on this one, we're sitting at a pretty good ratio, uh, which means the, the pull rate's gonna be pretty good on this box, I think. Unless it's light packs, <laughs> then I'm a little more in trouble. Uh, okay, there we go. And one more pack. Okay, we're going to put that down there. So I'm going to take a second. I'm going to get these a little more organized, get them labeled, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to get going. So guys, so give me a second. We're going to do a little magic pass forward. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, I have everything marked out there. I broke them into a little bit smaller batches to kind of see what we have. And the goal right now will be to find out do we find hits in a specific weight range or above a certain number? Because that's historically what I've been finding when I do these weighing ones. And ultimately, like I said, I don't want to do this so that you go home and weigh them and try to sell off the ones. I'm trying to convince people not to buy from untrusted sources uh, because that's just the way it works. And feel free to go to our shop, find loose packs. You will get them straight out of a booster box and they will not be weighed or sorted through because you feel free to leave uh, reviews. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom. And this is going to be uh, my under 169. So 169, I think it was like 169 and 166 or something like that. So we'll get started here. Our first pack of Obsidian Flames. And maybe you don't even care uh, about Wayne, which is fine. Like I said, just buy sealed products and you're okay. Um, but I, just the curiosity, want to know, you know, where, where we're at on that. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to get all these ripped out. We're going to check it out. And let's see what we can get. And let's find out. If the hits. Okay, so our first is a thunderous. It is a rare. Very cool. Numble. And there we go. Our lightest packs, 169 and under. And we got a trainer, full art card. And the double silver, I believe that that is an ultra, right? Is that an ultra rare? Very, very cool. So I'm happy that we are already finding them on the lowest weight. Now, if all the hits come out at the lowest weight, uh, that's not good either, right? So it's not just that we wanted them uh, to not be at the heavy packs. So we don't want them to be all in specific weights. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's keep going. So this again is going to be our 160 uh, and 169 kind of range. And I, it wasn't enough for me to break it down into further, but this would be something that weighs less than uh, 170, or sorry, uh, 22.7 grams, not 170. I'm doing some math here. Okay. So let's see. Commons, pretty cool looking cards. Okay. And our reverse is a Bunnel B and a Heatmore and a Cleef Fable EX. So my two packs so far on the lighter side have been the hits. So uh, I guess at this point, my lighter packs are all producing the hits, which is also not very cool because again, we don't want them to be findable and searchable, right? We want to make sure that we have an equal opportunity to get the packs no matter what uh, we're buying. So let's do this. We'll go to two um, right there. So we have two hits so far. And if you want to bounce around, the chapters will be posted. So you can go through and do the chapters. We are now, these are all 22.72 and 22.73 packs. So if we can stay with this um, light, that means that potentially there's going to be hits in all these packs because it's the lightest one. So I'm, I'm actually kind of hoping... Uh, well, I mean, I would like if every pack had a hit, but I'm kind of hoping that there's no hits here and they start to spread out a little bit. If there's a hit here, we're going to run into a problem, right? Okay, so reverse, reverse, and another EX. So what do you guys think so far? The three lightest packs we've opened so far all had our card. So I guess what we're going to have to probably do is go through and weigh some of our code cards because the code cards, I don't think... Uh, give up indicator anymore. They're not the same or they're not different colors. Um, but we are already seeing uh, a pattern, right? The light packs are producing. So let's pull up right now while we have it on the top of my mind so I don't forget to do it for you guys. Okay, just got a handy little scale here. And we're going to see what this code card weighs. You know, can I get this down there for you guys? Okay, so that is a one. Look at that. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but that is a one, four, three. Okay. You're not going to be able to see it. I don't think. 
but it, it's 1.4, well, maybe 4543, four, somewhere in there, 4543 four, grams for energy, or not energy, a code card. This code card is going to be 1.42, right? So um, let's see here. Okay, there's another code card, 1.44. So the question is, are these EXs weighing less than a normal one? That might be another question I want to find out, is I'm going to have to weigh a, um, an EX versus a standard card, okay? Because if the rare is heavier and they made the EXs lighter, that again is going to create the problem that we have where all these light packs are where the hits are, right? Okay. So let's go through, move that off to the side, move through, through to the back, build a little suspense. Okay, what do we have? Wiggle it. Let's go over. If you guys want any of these cards I'm flipping through, feel free to reach out. Let me know in the comments what you're looking for. We'll get you an auction form. Okay, so we have a Diglett, and we have a Houndstone, and another EX, Coriodon EX. So all from my lightest packs. I'm going to say that uh, either this is a phenomenal hit ratio box for every pack, it's got a double rare better because of my ETB that bit me. Remember, I don't know if you were listening the whole time during the show, but I did get an ETB that had um, one hit in the whole ETB. It only had one. Uh, it's a Pidgeot uh, EX, standard EX card, not the uh, not the secret one. So maybe we're making up for it. Every pack will have a hit, and then, and then the whole video is debunked. Um, but... <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the scenario here. So let's let's find out. Okay, so let's get into these cards and see. So we've got all of our uh, uncommons and commons. What cards are you guys collecting from here? Are you trying to get the secrets? Are you just collecting, you know, to make decks? What are you doing? All right, so we have a Greta and a regular Clay Doll. So this is where I want to find out how is it the lightest packs have the most hits? Okay. So let's go through and let's weigh them. Okay, so we're gonna weigh the Greta and tell you what it weighs. It weighs 1.85, okay? Now we're gonna weigh the clay doll. Let's see what that one weighs. 1.98, so that's quite a bit of difference. That would do that. And the reverse hollow, 1.83. So I'm thinking that maybe now these, these they, they found a way to print these lighter. Even though they're full foil, they're weighing less, right? So every single one of those packs that I had in that stack came out with a hit in the lighter packs. Okay, so that does kind of start to make me wonder about that problem because now all of our lightest packs are where the hits exist. And this is not good news, right? So again... We're hoping that maybe at this point, okay, these are going to be in my 170, there's the ones, uh, 2275 and 22 all the way up to, whoop, that one somehow got into the wrong stack. Let's move it back. Okay, so that goes into the 7-8 ratio. I think that one goes right there. There we go. Okay, and 7-8. Why was my scale not on enough? Okay, so this is my 20... This is my five, six, seven. So this is 22.77, uh, 22.77 is the weight of this pack. So we did move up a little bit. Let's see if that means that uh, there's no longer hits. Okay, let's find out. Okay, so uh, that's about a 0.5, not the same difference from what we saw Espeon, very cool, they're uncommons. Um, the Buzzle. The Simo, and okay, so there's the regular Greta. Now we're back into not seeing hits. Okay, so maybe this rate weight range will be where I don't get any hits. Okay, let's just keep weighing to make sure that I'm on. Okay, so this is 22.77. And what are we finding out? Okay, okay, let's get into it. Okay, get rid of that. And let's actually, you know what, let's weigh that one. So this code card. 1.42, right? So 1.42, very similar to the other ones that had the hits. And let's get going through the pack. Youngus, all right, pretty cool. Otega, okay, Mawile, Togepi, 
and a Scovian. All right, so again, um, now we're in the middle ranges. We're not seeing uh, as many of the hits. So what's it going to be? Is it going to be um, the lightest and the heaviest? Or if I can get an EX here or something, um, is it going to be finally be spread out? And you guys, feel free to, um, to drop me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, as I go through this, if you think there's any evidence that it's one way or another, uh, tell me if you, if you like these videos, if you want me to do more when 151 comes out, if, uh, if you'd rather I just did openings and reviews of the products. Okay, Froki just had a community day in Pokemon Go. Not sure if you guys got any of those or not. Uh, I got a couple. I went the first like two hours without a shiny. And then I finally got one, and at the end of the day, I got like another four more. Okay, so in that weight range, which was actually, there's no fives or sixes whenever you weighed them. It was all 22.7, no hits, right? So now these packs are all going to be my 22.78 and uh, 0.79. Sorry, I forgot to turn my scale on. Here we go. Let's relook at the weight. Okay, that's an eight zero. I don't know how it is I'm getting um, my scale so far off. Crazy. Okay, so this is actually going to be 22.78. So 22.78, just one hundredth of a gram higher, right, uh, than the last packs, but it was a noticeable uh, split with the number that was separated out. Okay, so let's go Diglett, Relic, Bell Toy, Electric Stuff, Flamingo, Bronze Gar, Bronze Zord, Gong, I hate saying these names, Hondoom, Reverse, a clear fee reverse and a standard rare. Okay. So guys, on this weight range in the middle, we're not seeing anything. So this is going to be a 277. This one should have popped probably back into the last one. I'll, I'll drop it back there in a second. Okay. So 277. 22.77. Let's see. Connor, lip up. Okay. Umbrian. Pretty sweet. Copy. Energy. Spoink. Hondur. And a dark ray. Okay. So we got a hit in the middle. This is kind of what I'm hoping for. It's it's getting spread out, right? So I want to see that at different weights we can still find hits. Now, I remember in Crown Zenith when I did that wing, uh, I think I did 50 packs of wing, that one. I still did find um, that I could get hits all over the place. But majority of those were in one weight range right so i do know that uh that can happen this is another 78 so 22 78 let's see what we can get out of it okay then we'll go back and we'll review what we got at each weight range and again if you don't have the patience you want to skip to the end that is your prerogative i do appreciate you swinging by if this is informational and it helps you out please do drop a like and a subscription if you want to help me out you can look down in the description and see uh, some links to other places we are and whatnot, or our new shop.gmpokey.com. What is in here? Larvesta and an Audino and a clay doll. So nothing great out of that pack. And this weight range is not producing the same hit percentage as a lower weight range, right? So let's keep going. Let's just keep verifying as we go. This is a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know how they're off that much. Maybe I should have bulked those weights a little more together. I think my scale needs maybe a little bit of calibrating, but again, <laughs> I don't use it when I do these videos, so it kind of makes it uh, uh, maybe the fact that it's just not staying calibrated. I thought I calibrated it. Okay, Alteria. What do we have? We have a Klepa and a Bar Boach and the Dragonite EX. Very, very cool. That is part of the standard set. It looks very well centered. I like that one. I really do like Dragonites from my Pokemon Go play. Uh, that was one of the first big ones I had in Pokemon Go that I could actually destroy stuff with. But we finally have a hit in this 7-8 uh, range. So that is kind of nice. And every time we get a hit in a different weight range, um, that's a good note. That's what we want to see. Well, obviously, we like hits because they're kind of cool, too. Um, but if we can get the weight ranges kind of varying, that does give me a little more hope that we're not having the problem is can you weigh it right okay let's see okay this is a seven nine so a little bit heavier pack okay maybe we should be weighing these hits too to really help uh look at the weight of the different cars 
Okay. Let's see. Love room. Diggersby. Camera. Claude Sire. <laughs> okay. Rip up. Valcono. And an EX. And I pulled this out of my last ETB. So that's my second one getting this. I think it's a little bit top heavy. But that's okay. So ultimately, realistically, I'm getting hits everywhere now. Now they're starting to spread out through every bit of weight. Oh, that's why we're going to weigh this. Let's see what this one weighs. Okay, so this card, 1.9. Okay, so that's pretty good because it's not all the hits. You don't want the trainer cards and the EXs and, and the secrets all to be the same weight because that creates a, a problem where you can find them. But if they're all different weights, this is a 4, 3, 1.43, right? So good news, good news so far, right? We're, we're spreading the hits out. Okay, so let's get one more pack. Oops, sorry, let's weigh it. Okay, this is an 8-1. So actually, that one should have been up there. Okay, so we got two hits in that range. And I, I'm really happy that I pulled the Dragonite EX. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, let's just do this. Yeah, that's going to be easier. Let's go here. We'll throw that on top. And for all those people who aren't watching constantly, if they want to see the hits, they can wait till the end when they do the review. Okay, so we have our 22.8 through 22. Point eight three. Nope, this one's a seven eight. Every time I weigh these things, they move around. Okay, now it's an eight. I don't know. I think my scale's off. <laughs> yeah, don't try to weigh. I'd be in trouble. I'd be sending all the hits out by accident, right? Unless there's a huge uh, discrepancy. I'm really going to be pretty stoked if they finally yeah, fix this. Let's see if we can get a hit in this range or not. Okay, we have all of our standard common uncommons. Okay, and. All right, sweet. Poltegeist and a Tojitmura. Enti. There's been Enti's in the last couple sets uh, from Scarlet and Violet. Pretty cool to see Enti's. Uh, if you remember the original like um, promo Enti's that they had back in the day, those were pretty shiny. Okay, this is a 7 9. Let's wait one more time. Okay, this is going to be a 7 9. So we'll throw that back in the last stack. Ugh. All right, let's see what we can get. So, so far, if you've been jumping around, we are getting hits from across the board, all weight ranges. I've been weighing the hits now, and they're varying all the way from a full art trainer being one point, I think it was like four, to an EX being 1.9. So that is pretty cool because it means Wiglet, Lunatone, and Toctricity. And what that means is that, uh, Hits can't be found through scales, right? Um, you can guess. I mean, you can you can assume that one maybe has a little more than another, uh, which we'll find on the end. But this is great news because um, so far they're spread out. So if we can keep that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, it used to be literally I could weigh them uh, on these videos, and then we would get nothing, and then all of a sudden we would hit. So that makes me quite happy that that's not the scenario anymore. Okay. I think that will also help the market. It should help the market too. Um, I don't know if people are going to be so willing to purchase a ton of boxes uh, when they can't sell off the dud packs, right? Okay. Dolville and a Dark Ray and a Greta. That's our second Greta. Okay. That was a 7 9, right? Was that 7 9? I think that one was 8. We'll put that one here. Pretty sure that was a, sorry, that was an 8 one. All right. Obsidian Flames. Weighing things out to see if your scale can find your hit. 22.80 is the weight on this one. And so far, this weight range has not produced a hit, but that is okay, right? Because we're going to get all of our data and then make our assumptions at the end. Okay. Edgy. Termillion. Exadrill. All right. We have an Arvin. I think there was also an Arvin in uh, PAL. And then... Swablu and Skither. Okay, now this is a big stack. This is a big percentage of the packs that are in this range. So I'm hoping this is an 8-2, okay? So 22.82. So I'm hoping that we get a hit in this range because we don't want to have any huge uh, ways for people to find them, right? So ultimately, if we can go through a whole weight range and not find a hit, those are the ones you're gonna get in the mail uh, when you order a moose or wherever you're getting them from, the county market or something. Okay, let's see. Okay, Curtier, 
and a Topi Kiss. All right, so still no hits in anything in the 22.8 range, uh, 22.81, 22.81. Hit or no hits. Okay, let's see. Let's move that there, go through. Okay, there we go, Edgy, Litwick, Charmander, Charmeleon. <gasps> Is there gonna be, wouldn't that be awesome if we hit a Charizard in this pack after we, and it's fire. Everything's pointing towards Charizard. Oh, uh, no, it's an NT, but you know what guys, it's okay. That's okay. We're still doing okay on our openings, right? I have not myself seen a Charizard yet in any of the stuff that I've opened for these videos. So hopefully, we can find at least one for me today. But going through the effort of doing this, uh, hopefully you get one charge out, right? 22.82 is our weight, so 22.82. Okay, let's bury that. Okay, let's see, what can we get? Over, puzzle, over, stone, digger, corrupt. Okay, psychic energy, do we predict that we're going to see a charge out? No. All right, an ice Q E X. And that is a double silver star. I'm, you guys got to help me with that. I'm pretty sure that means it's an illustrator rare. Let's wait, see what it weighs at. 1.99, so quite a bit heavier. 0 0.09 heavier than our last uh, full art illustrator uh, ultra. Right, there's so many words to go into these hits these days. Um, so that being said, we do now finally have a hit from this range. Which is good. That's what we need. We need to get a hit in like every weight range to know that we can find them all over. But I think in weighing the hits, it's pretty cool to find out that there's that much of a variance. It's been like 0.5. I think well, maybe it might not have been that low. Well, let's weigh this code card. Uh, 22.42, right? Okay. And this was an 8.2 pack. This is an 8.2. Okay. Ozzy, go with. Sounds on. Life rock. Okay. And. Nothing yet, still, still waiting. Okay, no. And Thunderous. We've seen multiple Thunderouses. You guys want to help me out? Pick some of those up. Shoot me a message. Tell me what you're looking for in singles. Um, I didn't even think about it. I guess we could, on our website, produce a, uh, a link to singles. That would make it easier, too, right? But then I got to answer them all, so I don't really want to do that. Maybe a singles request link where you go to the website, request what you want for a single from a set, and I can see if I have it. Something like that. So four, four, a little bit heavier, and we're still in the eight range, right? Twenty-two point eight low. Uh, we still have like an eight five range. There's the fire. Okay, Umbreon reverse, very very cool. And then nothing. We got nothing out of that. You know, we're gonna keep that in there. Let's do this. Okay. So I was going to pull that out and throw in a top loader, but I'm not sure. But if you guys want that, let me know. Reach out. I don't, I don't think I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to sell it the way we do it. So this is an 8.4. Okay, so Charizard in the 22.84 range. Is it possible? Can we get it? We got one hit from this range. It's a lot of packs so far. Uh, we'll see if we find it or not. Okay. Timo, Circus, Froki, Froka, Fro yeah, Froki. Uh, nine tails, Poltergeist, Todd School. I'm getting lots of doubles. I'm going to have all the doubles you guys need. Toxel and Topi Kiss. Multiple Topi Kisses, too. Okay, this is a big stack. So far, this is our biggest range with only one hit, right? So let's see what this one comes out to. This is a 22.82 pack. 22.82. I would say with that many cars or that many packs in that range, this might be a dud range. And that's. Um, I would be really interested to find out. Let's see what the code card is. Uh, 145. So a little bit heavier. That brings it kind of down closer to what maybe the packs weighed in the sevens range. Uh, when you take out that variance from that code card from the previous one. Uh, I'd be interested to find out if you guys buy any of these packs or pick them up somewhere if they weigh in the 22.8 something, uh, range. Just because this is what they're sending you. We got the whooper and the oink something or other and another pallet bin. All right, so we finish off that one with one hit in that whole weight range. Let's throw that up on top so we have one hit in that weight range. Now, the next couple packs, uh, I don't know. Based on the number of hits we have, I think we're probably due for about four or five more. Let's see if we're going to get them. There's six packs in this range. This is the 
five and six. Um, this one's an eight four actually. Let's wait one more time. Like I said, <laughs> now it's an eight five. My scale is not really the best, so um, I was just getting one that stays a little more calibrated. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really bother me because it's all educational. Um, but yeah, so this one's going to be an 8.5, 22.85. Youngest, Charmander, Bikini, Viziato, Dragonair. Oh, I think this was a. No, never mind. Okay. Um, Skither, Poppy, and Thunderous. Another Thunderous. That's lots and lots of Thunderouses. Okay, so let's see here. So we have 22.84. Let's try it again. 22.85. Let's throw it down a little bit on the scale. Then it does its magic and moves it up, I guess. I don't know. But I would say so far the 8.0 up through 8.5 hasn't produced us anything, really. Um, so that is also uh, not good. It's not good that we can find a weight range. Okay. Limit. All right, there we go. Now we got something. A the honk and another topi kiss. Wow. I would like to see the pull ratio on that. And this is a little off center, but it is an illustrator rare, right? Yep. Okay, so it's an illustrator rare. It's got the gold star. Pretty sweet. I guess I haven't been showing you guys those. I've been more interested in the blaine ability. Okay, and this is a 1.86. 1.86 is the weight of this. Okay, so that's going to kind of show you it's varying. We had the 1.99. I think we had, I think seriously, we had like a 1.4 something. Um, but with that weight variance, that, that's what we're hoping for is that weight variance. It just seems really weird that uh, it just magically didn't happen in that 8.0 to 8.3 range. Okay, this is going to be, so this says it's 22.83. Now it says 22.86. Let's try one more time. Okay, 22.85. I don't know. It's, it's, the 22.8 mid-range, let's call it mid-range weight. Okay, let's put that there. We'll move this here. Okay, here we go. And we have Magneton. Sweet, I haven't seen that one yet. Sorry guys, just chuck some cards. Keep more, another Espeon. Sharpedo. Okay, we got an Energy. Trevenant, Town Store, and a Dark Ray. Another Dark Ray, I think we already have that one. We need to pull some reverses of some of these we haven't seen yet. Okay, let's see what this rate range is. This is an 8.6. If I wait again, there's a jump. Okay, it's an 8.6, 22.86. Let's see what we can pull. 22.86. It's a little bit heavier. I would say right now, based on how it's been going, the ratio is um, a little bit better on the lighter packs, but it is spread out. The lighter packs, I think, were 100 percenters, though. Okay, so let's see. Drillbur, uh, Chew, Spoink, Gumshoes, Puppetar, and a Charmander Reverse. Very cool. Looks pretty well centered. Okay. A Rowlet Reverse and a Toxtricity. All right. Let's throw all that back in there. So, again, one hit. I think ultimately it was, uh, oh, shoot, I forgot to reweigh. 8-9. So this one, is it, is it actually 8-9? Eight, 8-8? Nine? Eight, eight? That one's supposed to go there. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to wave them in ranges to show you what's going on. And an 8-7. And an 8-7. Okay, so we're going to pop that up there. And we're going to throw this. Hey, don't do that. Okay, there we go. So um, one hit out of all those packs. Looks like maybe we officially had maybe three or four in that rate range of 8-5, 8-6. Um, lightest hit range is probably going to be seven, eight so far to eight, six. That's kind of a big span where we're not really getting a great hit ratio. So now we're going to be getting into our 22.87, seven and higher. And let's just reweigh. Okay. Yep. So 22.87. And I'm hoping, I am hoping that this isn't where all the hits are, but I need more hits, right? I haven't seen the charger. So, you know, there's, there's conflicting <laughs> hopes here. I hope that I get more hits. But I hope that they're not all here for your guys' sake, right? Okay. We have a Bi Sharp and a Ball Toy and a Clay Doll. Okay, sweet. So we got the, uh, the card and the evolution, the basic and the first stage. Okay, so, so far in 8.7, we don't have anything. This should be, yep, 22.87. 
so far, I think our best that we've pulled is probably that Dragonite or the Ice Q, maybe. Okay, one, two, three, skip the Q, let's go. Okay, Oddish, something, Hurt Ear, Gimlet, Lunatone, Dracaena, Lycanroc, okay, Soul Rock, Diggersby, and Thunderous. Thunderous number 800 so far in this box, guys. We are getting a bunch. So now there are no hits here so far. Let's see what we can get. This would be a, a six, okay? Eight, four. Well, what is going on now? Eight. Okay, let's wait one more time. Six. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna call it. It is what it is. It's higher than a five. Let's just say higher than a five. Higher side of twenty two point eight weight ranges. Okay. Well, let's all point. I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna get you guys moving a little bit quicker. I'm looking at my clock, and it looks like I've been keeping your time for about a half an hour so far. Overall, if you've been fast forwarding, not the same amount of time. Skither. And we are not finding hits in this weight range. So um, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to say this is a 22.89. And we're getting to that heavy point where I would think that since I saw some of those cards had the, uh, the 1.99, that we would start to see um, a, a more consistent uh, hit ratio at higher just because the, those heavy cards. But we'll find out. Okay, that looks some. Headquarters. And a Flamingo, a Dilber, and a Toxtricity, another Toxtricity. Guys, we are getting the same rares over and over. What is uh what is your guys' experience with this set so far? You've been doing the same thing? It's 20, it's 22.86. 22.86. Let's try it one more time. That's an 8.6. That's not an 8.9. Okay. So maybe, maybe we can go back and fill up another hit in that mid-range. That would make me kind of happy. Uh, I just want it to be hit at this point now. We're getting pretty low. Let's see what we can get. Larvitar. Maybe there's a T-tar in here. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? We can pull the T-tar. Okay. No. And nothing. We have nothing again. Wow. So I, I don't know, guys. We have three packs left. And I'm going to say that light packs are a much higher. This is an 8.5. 8.7. Maybe my scale sucks. 8.5. Um, that pack was already open. And it was from a sealed booster, right? Nothing. It's just a bad glue job. But man, that kind of stinks. Okay. So, 8.7. Can we get a hit? We haven't got a hit in this range yet, I don't think. Yeah, no hits in this range so far. So let's see if we can get a hit in this range and show that we can get hits all through. Okay. And Larvitar, Bonsley, and another Greta. More and more Gretas. We have a bunch of those so far. Okay. I have one pack left. Two packs total. This is my 8-9, I think. 9-1. Okay. Well, let's, let's reweigh that. Okay. So that's a 9-0. We're going to move into that right range. This is a 9.5, so 9.5, 9.4. Okay, so that's going to be pretty heavy. Okay, so a 9, 9.1 is what this weight does it have at that weight. If you can find a heavy pack like that, is it weighable or is it just full of heavier cards, right? That is the question. Okay, the code card is 4.3, so lighter than some of the heavier code cards, which are 4.5, 1.45 grams. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We have... Not, not too dinged up. That would be nice if we had a hit inside here, right? Okay, Bronzer, Snubble. Ooh, Umbreon, Lapras. Okay, let's see. 1.86 for the the mass. And the Lapras, 1.84. Uh, let's do the Snubble. The Snubble is going to be 1.85. So all those cards are pretty, I mean, nine cards, nine one hundredths. That's a lot. That can throw it off quite a bit. And the energy card is 7-1. So I wonder what the rest of the energy cards were. Oh, baby. There's the gold one. And then the normal. Okay, so there's a gold. I'm not sure what the gold ratio was. But we got the fire energy gold card. So I'm going to say because this was a 9-something pack and it had a gold. I guess we should probably weigh it, right? I guess I didn't think to do that. Even though it's a weighing video. 1.85. So 1.85. 
but it was still the heaviest pack. Okay. Um, if we weigh a rare, it's going to be 1.99 for the NT rare. And let's weigh our reverse hollow 1.87. So there is quite a bit of variance, which is honestly what I'm hoping for. That's what we keep saying is we want to see that kind of variance in there just to make sure that they're not going to be uh, picked through. And I would say we did get at least one hit in all the weight ranges, except for when I took it down to um, 877, 878, and 879. Okay, we have one last pack. Let's wait one more time. It comes out to 22.94. And this is our heaviest one. We did pull gold out of the last one when it was so heavy. Could there be a second gold or a gold Charizard in this pack? That is what I'm hoping for because I just love Charizards just because they're nice. And they move quickly when I put them online. Okay, let's see. Toxel, Kyrdet, Honored, something. Uh, Frogadier, okay. Charmeleon Reverse. And a Nine Tails. And then nothing else. But another Topicus. Okay, so that's not a bad card. That is a Nine Tails uh, Gold. So that is, it, what is one gold star? Special Illustration Rare, I think, right? So not a bad card. I'll take it. It's high number. It's 190. Oh, no, that's regular set or 199. So it is a rare just outside of the normal set number. And let's do this. So we can kind of look at this and evaluate what we think about um, the ratio of, of uh, the hits and kind of go through. And maybe I'll try to do a nice little overlay. I haven't been doing them in a while. Um, I'm going to put as many videos out, but our heaviest two packs, look at that, two hits, right? So two bangers out of our 22.9, we'll say 22.9 and up, it's not what I have listed there. Okay, let's go to our lowest rate range and look again. So we had in our lowest rate range, which was uh, six under, so under seven zero, I didn't break it down any further than that. We had an EX and a full art, okay? So EX and full art out of our lightest weight range. Our next was our 7-2 and 7-3 packs. And every we had three packs and three hits. Three packs and three hits. Double gold star and two uh, double rares. So look at that. Three hits out of three packs. And uh, one hit out of one pack. So anything 7-3 and lower was hitting pretty good. I think we had in our 7-4, 7-5, 7-6, we had one, two maybe three packs in that weight range and one hit and only one hit but still a hit down in that weight range and it's a gold star right okay next was our um seven eight and seven nine packs and it was one two three four five packs and in, in that weight range and two hits okay we had a uh double so a ultra and a double rare Dragonite. Okay, so not bad. So two hits. Next was our worst range. This was 8-0 to 8-3. And I don't know how many packs, but you can figure it out by, by elimination. An ultra rare Ice Cube EX. Okay, so very nice card. Very, very cool still. But only one hit. So when we started getting to our 7-8 to 8-3 range, we have a very low ratio of hits. And actually, once you got to 7-4, through 8-3, there's only four hits in a vast majority of the packs, okay? And then when we look at our 8-5, uh, 8-6 eight, eight, range, we have one gold star, so one illustrator rare, out of, let's see, one, two, three, four, at least four packs were in that range, and we're getting about a 25% hit ratio. Uh, it must have been like a 12%, and then we're probably, same thing, we're like 20%. So I would say, uh, and we got nothing, nothing out of our seven, eight. So one, two, three, four. I think there's, there's gotta be, there's gotta be at least five, just the, the, the size of the stack. There's gotta be at least five packs in there, right? So five packs, zero hits out of five packs. And then the last two that were nine, zero and higher, we got two hits. So two packs, two hits. So realistically, um, just looking at the these better of the hits, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, sorry, I screwed that up there. Uh, Ten, and then 
11, 12. So 12 total hits. So it's one out of three packs is going to get you a nice hit. But that being said, when you look at the ratio, anything between 7, 4 and uh, 8, 9 will only produce 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hits. 5 hits. So we had 1 and then 3, wait, yeah. But two packs, sorry, we had uh, five, six, seven, right? No double bangers, I don't think. So we had, yeah, sorry guys, my math is off today. So out of seven packs, we had seven hits outside of those ranges, right? Which means we had 29 packs with only five hits. So I'm going to say that this is much better than I've ever seen before, but I'm going to ultimately, my, my assumption is that there's still a problem because if I, if I, <laughs> It's a lot of wasted packs. If I was going to do this, right, and I was going to try to sell loose packs and, and waste my time, then all I would have to say is anything lighter than this number or larger than this number, then it'd be a go. People would still be getting hit. So I'm not trying to teach you guys how to weigh packs and do it for a profit. What I'm trying to show you guys is just be careful where you get the packs. And when you walk into a store that's maybe not a collector store or you're at a, a flea market or something, when you see someone sitting there with a bunch of packs, just be careful. Just keep this in the back of your mind. And I don't want to scare you away from using people, but this is just something that you should be aware of. And obviously, uh, if I've done anything to help you guys either see the cards in this set or understand how the weighing is going these days, please drop me a like, hit a subscription, drop me a comment, even just say hello, right? That way I know you're watching and um, appreciate your time, guys. Thanks, Jim. Poke you up.